reached out wanting to gift me this serum. It's a sunscreen serum and I was like, yes, because they actually gave me their dew drops serum, I think it was, and my skin loved it so much. I used all of it up. Like it's very lightweight and so I think it's something I wanna put in my routine in the summer. Anyway, but this, I was expecting it to be basically the same thing but its consistency is a little bit lighter and it smells like peppermint, but just like so subtly. Anyway, since I'm going hiking today, I thought like I should put on two layers of this just to, you know, sun protect. Anyway, you have to finish getting ready. So if you are ever going to Zion National Park, the place pretty much every local I know goes is a River Rock Roasting Co. on like the road up from Hurricane. Anyway, I don't drink coffee, so I don't actually know if it's good, but like everyone else I know is obsessed with it. Also, there's a road and it's loud. I cry when the moment's perfect. I cry when there's no words to say. I can tell restaurant I just ate at. Here are its bathrooms. More importantly, here's a random Connect Four game. Why does it exist? I don't know why it exists, but I'm very excited about it and I kind of want to play it, but wait. Also, it's kind of really creepy right here by myself in the middle of the dark. Do I play Giant Connect Four? What do I do? Hey guys, if I die, it's because I was playing Connect Four. Does it not? Oh, are the, is it already full?
fun hiking yesterday and everything we ended up doing two different trails because first I took us down into a wash but then it was like cloudy so my much wiser friends were like we need to not be in the flash flood zone in Zion because that is a big you know risk is flash floods so then we went and we did the overlook trail I think it is. I don't know. I'll look it up and put it here. Anyway, that, I think that was the one that like has, has left me in great pain. <laughs> like it has so many stairs and it's an easy trail. This is just how to, out of shape I am. Oh, look who's here. Say hi to everybody. That's just how out of shape I am that this like very easy trail has like killed me. I feel like something else that's really complicating everything is I told you guys how last month I got sick twice. It was like the end of December, beginning of January. And I never like really got better from that. My cat is going crazy. I don't know if you can hear him. <laughs> it's making me kind of sad because I'm pretty sure I have a post viral syndrome because I've experienced this before. I'm like, this feels exactly like a couple of years ago when I had long COVID. So I don't know if I ever shared the story, but at the very beginning of the pandemic, I came down sick and I had like this terrible cough. I was completely wiped out. I never got sick enough that I had to go to the hospital or anything, but like, I was like out on the couch, just like out for days and days at a time, right? So I eventually, I went to the doctor and the doctor was like, yeah, you have like all these COVID symptoms. You have like the cough, like the cough sounds exactly like what we're seeing in COVID patients right now. And I think it was because it was so early in the pandemic, they only tested me once and it came back negative. And so they're like, well, I guess you just must have like some type of viral bronchitis or something, right? And I was like, okay. I get better from this thing, but like I never really get better. Like I had never had asthma or anything in my entire life up to that point. And then suddenly I had asthma. And like, I remember one night specifically, I was like laying in bed and I just felt like I could not breathe. And it like freaked me out. But like, because I had never had asthma before, I was like, I'm fine, I'm fine. It's not like you can die from an asthma attack. You can, you can die from an asthma attack. Thankfully, I did not know that at like 1 a.m. while I felt like I couldn't breathe. Otherwise I would have went into like a panic anyway. But it was bad enough that I went into the doctor again uh, the next day, like the instant care, like the urgent care, I guess is what it's probably called other places. Anyway, that doctor was like, so you had the symptoms of COVID. Now you have the symptoms of long COVID. Cause I was like, I'm constantly fatigued. I have brain fog. Like if I do anything like exertion wise, like going upstairs and stuff, like I am dead, like instantly. And he's like, you have the symptoms of long COVID. <laughs> they only tested you once. I'm pretty sure you had COVID <laughs> like a month ago, right? Like at that point, I was like, oh, right and you're just like right now we don't know a lot about like long covid or what that looks like you know but he gave me like an inhaler and like the little machine that does like other inhaling things i don't know if you have asthma you know what i'm talking about anyway yeah and i was just dead for like probably the next seven months eight months because it happened in the summer and like it was probably the next February I remember that all of a sudden it was like this cloud that had been like over everything 
just like lifted and like the sun came out and my health and like my health is not great as you guys know but it was like finally the long covid did like end this time with whatever I had because I was tested for both the flu and COVID both times I was sick and it was both negative but like I still don't know what I had but whatever it is I'm now having the symptoms of a long post viral thing and it's so dumb but yeah that's like something I've really been struggling with if you guys have been following my channel for the past couple of months I've only posted a couple of shorts on here because I've just been out of it right and so I'm just figuring out what pace I can work at and like how to do that with my current health situation. I do feel like it will lift again. It lifted before the last time I had this. And I think recognizing that my body just needs more rest and to take it easy and just like very gentle exercise and stuff right now is like how I got through this before. And so I'm just gonna do that again, you know? Basically my body's having a hard time <laughs> and I just need to respect that, you know? But while I've been focusing on recuperating and stuff, I was like, you know what I need? I need to like really get my loungewear game on. So like, I have to show you guys this outfit. Come on. Okay. Ah, how far back do I have to go? Yeah. let's try this again I want you guys to see the whole thing because I'm like so proud of how matching it is it's purple I've been going through like this huge lavender phase recently I do not know why however I got this fit from Hollister which I know <laughs> I'm like that's so teenish however I I was like looking for like cute loungewear and theirs were the one that I just kept coming back to. I was like, that's actually cute. Like, I like that. So <sighs> these are, I feel like they're wide leg lounge pants and this is just like an oversized tee. Like when it said it was oversized, I thought, I don't know what I thought. I thought like it would be like slightly like loose or baggy. Like this is the medium and oversized. And like their other medium shirts is like skin tight on me. So I was like, when they said oversized, they meant oversized. However, it's also like super soft and comfy. So I'm like, I'm good with it. And you know, to just go with my overall lavender vibes. I also had to get the purple version of my water bottle you know how obsessed i am with these water bottles i just get them on amazon of course i'll link to all of the stuff below like i always do with my favorite products i've had the white and the pink version of this bottle for like ever now i had to get the purple one because i'm like now we can all match but i do also go through these water bottles like so often i was like i actually need one it was an intelligent purchase despite also being aesthetic so I think it was last year I made a video on my other channel about like recovering from chronic illness flare-ups. And I'm like applying a lot of the same principles to dealing with this post-viral thing. One of them is like just having like nice activities you can do while resting, right? So I got a new hobby, which if you follow me on Instagram, you already know about, which you should go follow me at Electric Dashwood, but also, if you don't know, this is the big reveal. I took up embroidery. So <laughs> I had a lot of fun doing this and I binge watched Star Trek Strange New Worlds, which I'm also obsessed with. Have you seen the musical episode? Because if you have not seen the musical episode, I am currently convinced that's the best Star Trek episode ever. However, while watching that series, I've got this far on my very first embroidery. I got an embroidery kit off of Amazon that had everything I needed, which I'm so thankful I did. Cause usually I'm the type of person who's like, I'm just gonna figure out which things to buy individually versus buying a kit. Cause usually when I buy kits, they're not that high quality. But this time I was like, make your life easier and just buy a beginner kit. So I got this beginner kit off of Amazon. I'll also link to it below. It has like three different patterns like this. I don't know if you can see but like the flowers are already like pre-drawn and there's like instructions on what stitch to use and what color to use. 
So it's kind of like a paint by numbers kit only with embroidery, but you learn a lot while doing it. So like so far I've learned, I think it's called the satin stitch and the stem stitch. And I've just been like practicing that. How long will this hobby last? I don't know. You guys all remember my <laughs> crocheting era. Will this one last longer than the crochet? I don't know. <laughs> but right now I'm enjoying it. Okay, so something else that's a restful activity that I just got the supplies for, that I'm gonna probably be trying to do in either this video or an upcoming video, is put tape, like I got artist tape, on the edges of this mirror because it is gold and I've never liked the gold. I asked you guys for painting tips and like despite all of your amazing painting tips, I still felt too overwhelmed to attempt to paint it because it is a mirror. And I'm like, I'm gonna get it on the mirror. I'm gonna mess it up somehow. So I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna try to cover it with artist tape. That way, if I pull it off, it should hypothetically not ruin the original finish, but it will also look like it's like this white cream color that goes with the overall vibe of the studio more. Anyway, like in my imagination, I'm going to binge watch Star Trek and put tape on the mirror. <laughs> That's my, my goals in life right here, guys. I did finish Star Trek Strange New Worlds, so I've gone back and I'm like watching like episodes of Voyager. <laughs> and it's like insane to me. I'm like, I don't know how this episode ends. <laughs> Like, I remember this episode existing, but like it's been so long since I rewatched them that I'm like, my brain deleted the ending. So it's kind of interesting, like watching it all over again. Anyway, that is my goal for today is just to really like rest and chill out and do something and watch Star Trek. <laughs> I'm on my Star Trek obsession moment in life right now, guys. But yeah, like yesterday when I was doing that hike, I knew it was gonna kill me. But sometimes I've discovered in my life, I just have to do stuff that I know I'll spend days recovering from. Otherwise I miss out too much on life. And I've really been working on making new friends, which is like, I have friends and I love my friends, but a lot of them have like got married, moved away, had kids, or just like super busy. And so I'm like, I need to make like friends I can do stuff with again, like go crazy hiking. <sighs> but making friends is really hard. Like, even though like people are awesome and amazing, it takes so much work to like truly get to know another person again and also just get out of the house. I feel like the pandemic also kind of like retrained me that I'm just like, I stay at home and that's perfectly normal all the time. When it's just like, wait, I have to actually leave the house and do stuff with people. <laughs> anyway, but like yesterday was so good and I had such a fun time and yeah, like I'm so glad I went. But yeah, now I just have to be dead all day. <laughs> to cover all of the gold stuff with this tape. Will it work? Will it stay? Will it look decent? I don't know. straight and I'm like having to overlay it in like short little layers 
because like really long stretches are not working, right? So it definitely looks like tape, but this is like a very papery tape. So it almost looks like layers of paper, which I'm honestly kind of loving. This is not what I originally imagined it would look like. I thought it would just be able to like make it all the same color and awesome. But like there's something like kind of artsy and organic about this that I'm really loving. So, but it's also taking forever. <laughs> It's taking forever because I'm having to lay multiple layers because it's also kind of a transparent tape. I didn't know it would be this transparent. <laughs> what it looks like as you can see it's already starting to like come up off of it but look what else I did I cut out little heart shapes and like butterfly shapes to like decorate it and also try to like reinforce the tape holds meanwhile there's this guy what do you have to say So yeah, this is what the mirror looks like. I'm very curious to see how long this tape is gonna hold. What do you have to say, old man? Here's a close-up of him. Uh -huh. 